matter of fact. Oh, wait, I want to ask you one more question about yes. body tattooing. Absolutely. Okay, what is your favorite style? Because there's so many styles. Of right, there's lots of styles. So um, I always say selling healed results on my social Don't media. Don't be so... So... <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> question to me. Um... I honestly love healed results. Like I love American traditional tattoos. Oh, that's tatty. what I'm trying to get out of you. Well, like, my what grandpa style? was tatted up. You know? Like this, like this, this stuff. This is American right traditional. Yeah. Can we zoom this? Can we zoom this in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this no. is tratty American traditional Sailor yeah. Jerry. Yes. Tattooers. Um, basically, it's thicker, bolder lines. Color holds well. Packing holds yeah. well. And it looks great. And I, I it looks like amazing. Yeah, and I like high contrast. I like high color yeah. with black. It's also know? easier to touch up too. Yeah. And isn't this the first? style of yeah. tattooing like yeah. in the united states as far as body art yeah yeah it is well in the yeah because there's yeah. other never mind it's a whole nother it's history i'm yeah. obsessed with it and i'm gonna give my tattoo artist a shout out Go he'll ahead. love this his name is uh swarm and he did my entire sleeve and great lines man yeah he works out at a shop downtown downtown tattoo you can find him on instagram death swarm at death swarm on Instagram, but if you're in the Vegas area or visiting Vegas, I Swarm does. I mean, the best yeah, uh, American good line. traditional. Yeah, great lines, great color pack. And he's not one of these rough and tough guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, any woman, no matter how feminine or girly you are, are going to feel really comfortable with Swarm. He's super yeah. good guy and comfortable to uh, work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. get into our next thing. No. So, breast cancer awareness month right yep. it's october october that tends to be a big thing in permanent makeup or at least for some people in permanent makeup i know you have a strong passion and uh, connection oh, to yeah. big time. Uh, breast cancer and areolas so let's talk about that a little bit um what are you what are you in your studio doing this month to celebrate oh breast yeah cancer awareness? so i have a foundation it's a nonprofit foundation spot on beauty Spot on um, Beauty. Spot on Beauty Breast Cancer Foundation. And it is for the women. I haven't had a men yet, but men get it as well. But when they yeah. have breast cancer. Because men can get breast absolutely. cancer. Absolutely. Insurance does not cover uh, the tattooing. Right. And I'm like, what? I thought that was like a whole thing, but it didn't. And um, whenever I started doing areola work, it was totally by accident uh, a woman came into my shop and majority of the clients I permanent makeup they've never had a tattoo mm -hmm. and I tattoo their face and I say so you know about mid 50 year old woman I was like do you have any tattoos and she just flashes me and I see clearly she's had breast cancer you've uh, seen the the scars and whatnot and a big peach circle oh, and yeah. then a little peach circle target symbol I've seen it yeah I've seen um it. and I was like and just because of her personality, I was like, what is that? Well, yeah. What you got going on there? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, listen, I've never done it before. It looked healthy skin. I've And it was. Um, I was like, can I do an areola just for something to put on my social media? I'd love to do more work like this. And uh, she's like, yeah, absolutely. I was like, I'm not even going to charge you. Did it. Loved it. She went to the hospital. Did and, it heal okay? Oh. Were you proud? It was glorious. It was Terrence. glorious? It was yeah, glorious because right. I had a reference to it, and I was like, oh, awesome. Yeah, okay. And then the next day, the doctor called. Like, hey, did you do it? Huh. I'm like, oh, my God, is she okay? Because I didn't think it was any different, which it, mm. So sometimes I follow your social yeah. media, and sometimes yeah. I see that you're actually in a hospital. I am in a hospital. Yeah. So, so here's you do, the, you the do your that real... I got recruited. Oh, oh you got recruited. And I was like, yes, I will totally do it. Well, they couldn't get insurance and and whatnot for three months okay and the nurse under the table i won't say her name um she said hey can i send you some people insurance won't cover the tattoo and you can do a cheaper price i'm not going to tell you what to charge but i'm like of course and i was just going to charge a cheaper price well, these women that were coming in they were lower income they didn't right. they, there was no way i was going to charge and plus honestly i cannot put a price on giving away a woman's areola tattoo right there's no price on that at all Which, so it felt amazing and i did it for and then, uh, long story short, they couldn't. I couldn't uh, afford doing it as much referrals as I was getting. Right. To where I just kept giving it away, you know. So I started my foundation, and it helps give them the free tattoo, and also some extra money. So how does the foundation work? Do you take? Um, okay, so you could either um, do, do people donate, they donate to your foundation, but I sell merch because that's just okay. like the world I'm in. Like you want to. 
by I've got stress boobs merch that's merch merchandise merchandise for those merchandise where's okay. the stress boobies I got you <laughs> I, I do have the stress boobies I do they need to be right here on the I, table I, I got them okay I'm out there in my green cabinet I swear uh, to God we'll insert the photo in the far left yes, corner yes I will this. pretty soon my my um my Olivia over there, <laughs> you guys can't see her, but um, she's over there. Pretty soon, she's going to learn how to do a picture in picture and insert stuff. Yeah. Well, we'll do that. I'm sure you we'll figure it out. We're working on it. So I sell merch like that, T-shirts, hoodies. Um, so people can donate to your foundation. I had a, I had and a, this yeah. pays and helps fund. So the people that have the, the they come to me. Okay. Um, they don't have a job really because of cancer. Majority of them is because of the breast cancer that okay. they couldn't work. And I'm like, well, that stinks. Yeah. You know, some of them have younger children. They're early, They're younger. They're in their 40s. And I'm like, first of all, it's my foundation. I can do what I want with money. So... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you do bit. with the money that you raise? I talk to them a little bit and, uh, I find what, what their life's like. And mm-hmm. they're like, I don't have a job. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, all right, cool. Some people they're like, I do have a job. I do well. And I'm like, donate to the, to the foundation. Yeah, so go. give them money, help with rent. It also helps just with anything. Even so the money some, that you take it in your foundation, you are, I give that to them because it makes me feel that's like awesome, Kara. But amazing. But that's why I dig you, and that's why yeah. we've formed a friendship, right? Because yeah. you're like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, but I wanted to talk to you. There is, you know, when it comes to charging for, because I do areola work too. Yeah, uh, I have for many, many, many years. So when it comes to charging for areola work, you know, on the Facebook board, sometimes on social media, I'll see there's some people that take a strong stance that. Well, you know, you shouldn't charge. All that should be pro bono and free. And then, you know, and then there's some people on the same post will come back at them and say, well, we can't work for free. Right. Blah, 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 blah. And I know how I feel about it. Yeah. You know, um, how do you feel about, about that? Should we be charging? Should we, it should all well, be pro bono? Well, it depends on the person. If they contact you, and I think, honestly, you're an artist. Your art is whatever you want to say it's sold. I could take this piece yeah. of paper and say that's a thousand dollars because I put my hands on it. Yes. So I think, in my opinion, um, you can have a set price. It can be a body art. You can still charge. I don't know. It doesn't take an hour to do it, but you can charge your hourly rate, or you can whatever's locally. I don't know. Three hundred. I've seen some people three hundred to eight hundred dollars yeah. yeah. for it. That's maybe I don't know what it is that you know. But the point, if they come in and start talking to you. And they just, it's just about my heart. And they're talking to me like I've, you know, I'll say, say a sad story or something like that. And I'm like, oh my God, you're, no. (laughs) I mean, I'm sorry. I just can't consider your audience who you're asking. Yeah. You're asking me. I know. Well, this is how I feel about it. So I could put a price on it. Yeah. I feel, you know, um, I I charge when the client can, when they can afford it. Right. And... I do pro bono when they cannot. So I'm of both. So when I, I didn't have my foundation, because now it makes me feel great. I'm like, oh, just give all your money that you want to give to my foundation. So it's great. It takes the load yeah. off of me. Yeah. But I charge my hourly rate for a body art, and that's what I did. Yeah. I do like a flat free fee, whether, you know, if they have their nipples. How much do you charge for Well, their... if they have their nipples, you know, we're not doing 3D sure. nipple work. We're just tattooing like a yeah. base. I call it a base. You know, I think yeah. I charge like three hundred, yeah, three fifty. If I have to go in and create the three D look with right. nipples, right? It's still art. It's still art. And then I charge a little bit more. Um, we do a lot of breast stuff where they have the incisions and we're just filling in scar work. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it's just one areola, right? And you got to match it to the healthy existing one. So it depends on what I'm doing. But in my sixteen years that I've been tattooing areolas, I've done so many freebies because i just would never deny a woman my service because they can't afford it i mean so that's just the way i work it's case by case yeah Yeah. but i don't think it's quite fair for people to say we should never charge it shouldn't be a charge service um because we have supplies not every permanent makeup artist is also financially stable uh you know to do free work right so some people are single moms they have children yeah um you know things like that so i don't know if that's necessarily a fair blanket state- statement yeah that's right? why i'm saying just consider your audience who you ask yeah. what they should or yeah, shouldn't because yeah, yeah. this is yeah. not just body art this is a body being put back together to yeah. make it feel normal yeah 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 so you want to help someone out yeah. that's the 
in my opinion, the biggest way to help. Oh, no, no, it is yeah, biggest. Right? Yeah, and I think I've cried. So we help people. Yeah, we do help people. And, oh, my God, yes. And they're the best clients, yeah. right? They're so gracious and so um, so thankful. And I don't, I can't think of one areola client where I, I just didn't, you know, like, cry. Well, I... <laughs> you get emotional. Right, you do, but I, uh, well, I'm laughing the whole time. So we, you don't cry? You're saying you don't cry? I, I don't unless they cry. <laughs> I said, don't you do that to me. <laughs> don't you... And then I go hard, and I'm yeah. gonna cry right okay. with you. Yeah, okay, I don't cry at every single, but I get a, I get a flaclumped oh, on every should, single yeah, one, and some I actually cry. Down. It just depends. Um, yeah. no. Uh, bottom line, I just keep it fun, keep it light. This is the cherry on the top. Okay. We're here for fun, and plus, they feel comfortable right. with you. A lot of women, they'll take their top off even if they have nothing on, and they'll be like this. They'll be conservative. They want that ISO gown or just a gown. Yeah. So hospital work. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, do you only do areola work at the hospital, or do you also do it in your your, so your studio? So in order for insurances to pay, I go to hospital. So I'm okay, I under the blanket. I got gotcha. you. So, so let me get this right. It. If there's anybody out there in Carr's area um, that wants areola work and they need insurance, they need they want insurance to pay for it, then they need to book with you and get it done at the hospital. Um, they yeah, if their insurance will cover it, absolutely. If their insurance and will cover it, I'm more than capable gotcha. of setting all that up. And, okay. that's and if what, they don't care about insurance or or they don't have insurance or if that's not the issue, then they can actually yeah, book with you. Yeah, it's a bit of an interview process, right at their, your yeah. studio. Yeah.